Thursday, 6 September, and this is Top Stories by Rooster News. India's defense ties with Russia and energy links with Iran will not be the primary focus of the inaugural India-US 2 plus 2 dialogue, American Secretary of State Michael Pompeo indicated ahead of his arrival here. Mr. Pompeo and U.S. Secretary of Defense, General James Mattis, who arrived here yesterday evening for the dialogue with their counterparts, External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj and Defense Minister Nirmala Sitaraman, will head their respective teams for two-level talks. Today's discussion is expected to take a comprehensive look at strategic ties between India and the U.S., On top of this discussion is the likely U.S. plans to have a landmark agreement on communication and coordination on security issues, Comcasa and the sale of high-tech military items. The 2 plus 2 dialogue was planned during Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to Washington, D.C. last year and issues related to Iran and Russia that are important to the administration of President Donald Trump are expected to be discussed. However, Sources have indicated that India prefers to avoid third-party mentions in bilateral talks. The US has been demanding that India zero out energy supply from Iran, even as Delhi has avoided spelling out exactly how it would comply with this demand. The other major US concern is the S-400 missile defense shield, worth $6 billion that India plans to acquire from Russia. U.S. media sources have reported that both the issues would feature prominently in today's talks. Following the formal talks, both Mr. Pompeo and General Mattis are scheduled to pay a visit to Prime Minister Narendra Modi this afternoon. The Supreme Court yesterday ordered that minor survivors of rape or sexual assault will get compensation on par with women victims. The Apex Court extended the National Legal Services Authority or NALSA compensation scheme for women rape and sexual assault survivors to minor children. The NALSA scheme would be applicable to minor victims from October 2nd until the centre frames compensation guidelines under the Protection of Children from Sexual Offences or POCSO Act. The order is the product of legal efforts undertaken by senior advocate Indira Jaisingh, who has lent her expertise in the case for uniform compensation for rape survivors. The case had begun in the Supreme Court with Ms. Jaisingh raising her voice against the dormant state of the Nirbhaya funds. She has argued that compensation for sex abuse survivors should be a source of financial solace for victims of sex crimes and acid attacks during court trial. The CBI yesterday launched simultaneous searches on the residential premises of Tamil Nadu Health Minister Vijaya Bhaskar, Director General of Police T.K. Rajendran, former Minister B.V. Ramana, former Chennai Police Commissioner S. George and others in connection with the Gutkha scam. The charge against the accused was that they had received bribes from a leading Gutkha manufacturer to allow the sale of banned tobacco products in Chennai. The development triggered a demand by opposition, led by DMK President M.K. Stalin, to dismiss Mr. Bhaskar and Mr. Rajendran. However, Fisheries Minister D. Vijay Kumar said the searches did not mean that they were guilty. Special teams of the CBI's Anti-Corruption 3 unit from New Delhi were involved in 10-hour searches at the Minister's house on Greenway Saleh, the DGP's house in Mugapayar East and Mr. George's home in Mugapayar West. The Gutka scam pertains to the alleged involvement of Mr. Vijay Bhaskar, Mr. Rajendran, Mr. George and a few other IPS officers in taking bribes to the tune of Rs 39.91 crore for facilitating the storage, transportation and sale of the banned commodity in Chennai. Leptospirosis continued to show a rising trend this week in Kerala even as the health department said that it had strengthened activities in the field and upped the awareness campaign to encourage people to consume the drug doxycycline as a post-prophylactic. After the number of cases increase, drug compliance seems to be improving, officials said. 
On Tuesday, according to the department's official data, 141 suspected cases of leptospirosis and 115 confirmed cases were reported. Four suspected leptospirosis deaths were reported, one each from Kolam, Koteyam, Ernakulam and Malapuram. One confirmed leptospirosis death was also reported from Malapuram. The health department maintains that given the fact that nearly 25 lakh people have experienced the flood, the number of cases would be much more. Health officials claim that while there may be some gaps in supply at the grassroots, all government healthcare institutions had adequate stocks of doxycycline. Some 70 lakh tablets were already received by the state. More stocks would arrive later this week. We round up this newscast with fuel prices from key metros. In Delhi, petrol is sold for 79.40 rupees per litre and diesel for 71.43 rupees per litre. In Chennai, petrol is sold for 82.51 rupees per litre and diesel for 75.48 rupees per litre. In Kolkata, petrol is sold for 82.31 rupees per litre and diesel for 74.27 rupees per litre. In Mumbai, petrol is sold for 86.80 rupees per litre and diesel for 75.82 rupees per litre.